Hey, welcome to 62 to Freedom. This is build day 229. And uh, I gotta go to San Jose again, yet yeah, again. You know, uh, I can only get 3,000 bucks at a time from the bank, so that's what keeps me going there. You know, and some expensive things are coming up like stainless railings and windows and doors and uh, decking. So, I, it keeps me going there and you know they're getting ready to make the pads so i got to get some uh a lot of uh three-quarter washed rock and fine sand so there's a lot of things coming up right now so i need to back up back up So welcome and um, I'm trying to get there it's 8 o'clock right now in the morning I'm trying to get there by about the same time the bank opens which is 9 o'clock so my wife has a lot of shopping for a store to do also but really all I need to do is get cash there so that I can pay half of the you got to pay half of the window uh, stuff before they will get started. You know, they gotta buy materials with that and uh, stuff like that. They gotta buy the materials. Basically, it's half and half, you know, I guess, half material, half labor costs. So they're aluminum frame windows with, uh, it. Um, I don't know, you, we'll see how the glass turns out, you know, on the outside. It's coming, it's coming soon and they're gonna start Thursday to put the frames in there, so. We'll see how that goes. Right now, hello? Shoot. Yeah, I'm gonna have to ride and get the gravel. So, that's how the uh, beach looks out there. The sand is turned up close to shore again. I don't know. Hopefully it didn't turn it out of the bottom of my fence. Uh, so, <laughs> 62 is gonna investigate what happened down there at the beach today <laughs> so uh i couldn't get in touch with the sand and gravel so i'm gonna ride over to harold's and send it uh gary i'll just ride over there and tell him that they won't answer the phone so they're working on bahala bridge and they're trying to get ready for the decking when is the decking coming, Gary? Uh, maybe Friday, sir. And so I still owe like 17 for that. Not gonna swing, these are gonna slide open. He came and measured, yeah, it's enough room. Yeah. For the screen to slide, then you can slide the doors and it'll be completely open. Yeah, yeah. Like I wanted. But, you know, more air. The more air, the better. You see all the sand in the water. <laughs> I wonder if that's my beach. See how brown it is? Yeah. Coming for the river, sir. Maybe that's my beach. Yeah. I'm gonna go investigate. Going in the quarry, sir. I'm just gonna go look. I hope it's the quarry. So this is the new paneling. It's got a lot less lines. But I like this, this one better. And it was cheaper, but you just can't get it. So, uh, I ain't gonna worry about it too much. They, look, they both look good. And uh, all upstairs is in the one I like, and it's just the family room downstairs where the bedrooms are, and the uh, garage. And that hall, the magnificent hallway, it's gonna start at the end of that. So it's not too bad. 
the spare bedroom and the garage are going to have it. But all the main places got the kind I like. Wow, it's a jungle out here. Hi. Yeah, you're still growing, man. That's a good. Is your brother on the other corner growing? It's still alive. Still alive. What does this look like? I'm scared to look out here. It looks okay. The cut has come up a little bit closer. It doesn't got that big rock now. Wow. Hmm. What's going to happen? I just don't know. Look down there, there's a big old hole. It did rain last night, so that contributes to the erosion. And so the cut continues towards the fence because that big rock, I know that is still sinking. It seemed like there was another rock right there. Maybe I'm thinking about the one back up, up, up in here. Anyway, that big rock down there, it's undercutting it. That's why it's, it's tilted away from the edge of the other rock. Hello. Hey, you wouldn't answer the phone, so. Hey. Will you call Indai and tell her to send six cubics of washed three-quarter rock? Yeah, washed. Three-quarter washed rock. Six cubics. Six cubics. And six cubics of washed fine sand. Make sure it's safe fine sand and washed rock. Six cubits each and I'll come by and pay. Okay, because I don't know her number and... I keep calling Harold. He will not answer most of the time. So, okay, bye. And uh, I got to get going anyway. So I'm gonna go pay for the gravel and um, pay for the sand right now. So I like the level of the yard over here. It's pretty close to where I like. I wanted it. See right below the drain. If it gets too flooded here, then I'll just open up them them drains they unscrew all three of those unscrew now i just got to fill up this side you see how it's it's not even close to the drain that's a big hole there and here and then um i do this side get it like that i'll be a happy camper and there's plenty of dirt to go i think this was a big hole right now there's a lot of logs on it but that's going to end up being gone and uh, Run Run has filled this in mostly too over here. It needs a little bit more back behind that tree. But not much. This was a great big old hole in the beginning. And now it's just not that bad. <clears throat> it still needs a lot in here though. That's for sure. They could get this wood out of here anytime. We could fill the yard up. And Especially this one, because that's where we need to fill up out over there. We could go right through there, right through this, uh, where them little chops are, and start filling it up down there, work our way back. So you fill up by the fence first, you, know, you ain't got to roll over it. So that's the take from 62. I really got to get on the road again. On the road again. Da -da 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 -da. On the road. All right. So, let's just take a peek at the stuff I planted. This has got grass all around it, but, you know, it's a coconut tree. I figure it ain't going to block too much. It's right in the middle. Now, I like shade, too, so. Oh, my gosh. This is my growing, this is my uh, multivitamin tree. <laughs> this is a better than one a day. Trust me on that. If you don't believe me, look up Malungi or Moringa, M-O-R-I-N-G-A. That's another name for this tree. This tree gets tall, and all you do is just pick them leaves off of it, wash them, 
and put them in a soup. Any soup that you want to put them in. It's got a flavor. When I first tasted it, I'm like, eh, what is that? Then after I ate it a few times and looked at the vitamin content on it, it started really tasting good because you know it's so good for you. Uh, you can't resist eating it. And now I love it. I mean, it, it's no funny taste to me. I just acquired a taste for it because it didn't taste bad in the beginning. It was just, I never tasted that flavor before. That's what it was. Like, wow, what's that? It wasn't like, ooh. It was like, what is that? I never tasted that before. Because I'm on the other side of the world. That's probably why. So, in a... <laughs> that's my avocado tree. It's looking good, man. The leaves, they're nice and green, green, green. They got some curly leaves, though. Maybe they're supposed to be like that. I need to cut this grass soon. But who's got time when I'm riding around all the time? This one is doing good also. That's something similar to um, that fruit I can never remember the name of and this is that fuzzy fruit about the size of a plum called uh, I don't know it's about the size of a plum and it's got like fur on it with a big seed it's delicious no doubt I don't know how this bamboo guy is. Anyway, there's a couple more plants over here. Yo, subscribers are like, wow, we don't see these plants enough, man. But some people are new subscribers. This is one kind of, uh, this is an interesting one right here because see how the root, see how the stem curls around in a circle right there? It does a circle. Well, it's a, uh, uh, mango tree there's two different kinds of mangoes that are growing in this yard this one is the yellow one i think the one that i like the most it's sweet yellow and sweet if you ever know anything about mangoes and then the other one let me get this grass off of it because i don't want the grass stealing the vitamins it needs no get away so that's gonna make an interesting trunk <laughs> I know you must agree. If it gets to be a big tree, that's going to be interesting looking. That's one of the mango trees. Planted this banana. That jackfruit is the name. It's uh, one. It's either jackfruit or one that's similar to jackfruit. Planted that banana, that banana, that banana, that banana. One banana, two banana, three banana, four, five banana, six banana, seven banana, eight. Eight banana, nine banana. Huh. That's it. I only planted nine banana trees? <laughs> only nine. And that's the other kind of mango. It stays green and they dip it in, it's sour. They dip it in vinegar. Need it. Oh, here, there's the tenth banana. Uh, I'm sorry, you didn't make it, buddy. You didn't make it. It's okay. I will. I will get another baby. There's some babies that are under the house still, I believe. I will get them out of there. This is edible. Eat this with fish, and that's edible too. I don't know what you eat that with. I forgot. And those two are papaya trees. They're kind of close to the salt, so I don't know if they're going to make it. So I got to get out of here. Order the uh, sand and gravel because that's just what I do. That's just what I do. All right. Uh, welcome to 62 to Freedom anyway on the new subscribers. And kind of corny, but you might pick up something you might like and uh, do it on your house bill. Or you might incorporate it into your dreams. Or you might see something like, yeah, I'm not going to try that. You know what I mean? Even if it's not something you would do, you're to reflect off of it and figure out, in your mind you're gonna say oh yeah no way am I gonna do that and one of those oh way I never gonna do that is order something here from especially from design order something and then 
uh, it's not it's not acquired from inside the Philippines <laughs> you know oh yeah we can get that sir yeah I can get it too and order it and get it six months later but who can't do that all right these guys are working on the ceiling in here looks good this paneling looks good too it's just different I like the other one better I like the other one better but this one's okay it's nice to so, okay, I'm off to San Jose. I'm gonna roll out. Well, the rock and the sand came while I wasn't here today. So they back all those bags over to the left are all full of three washed three quarter rock. So. And they worked on part of the, they worked on the um, frame for the decking. See the wood? That's the wood that I bought recently. And that's where the decking is going to go. Right on top of that to mesh in with the top of the beams and uh, top of the columns so that the pad will be poured and lock everything in. So that's what that's about right there. So they did that and they finished off the family room down there with a uh, ceiling panel. And they look like they're getting ready to start in the uh, other bedroom. The, uh, the guest room, they're getting ready to put the ceiling in the guest room. And they've been working on the wall tiles in the guest bathroom up here. 